Play defense. <laughs> I, mean, what I, do. uh, I don't know this game. Tell you, you know, everybody on the team had a huge motive. Uh, I had a personal motive. You know, like it was six million of the year. I thought otherwise. You know, I just wanted to go out there and just do what I can to help the team win. He can score in so many ways. What is? What is the bigger challenge? Keeping him from getting the ball or once he gets the ball? I mean, he's pretty good at getting it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess once he gets the ball, you know, he's a really good player. Hits tough shots off the dribble sometimes. You just got to live with the things he shoots. You can play the best defense and he'll just make it. But, I mean, it was just my challenge in the second half, and I just wanted to go take it. Toughness is a very unscientific uh, word, but Would you say this was your toughest win of the season? Yeah, um, definitely up there. Definitely, I mean, it was a dog fight. We got down early, uh, ended up down the second half, but it was definitely a dog fight. It was definitely up there. What can you say about the energy that the fans brought uh, in this game? Uh, they were great. I mean, the energy was great. But, you know, I get first kudos to my teammates. I mean, they're the reason why the fans had the energy to do. So, I mean, to start out tonight, the fans tonight, you know, being the sixth man for us, was, it was amazing. And all that, all that said, your two veterans, your two horses down the stretch, RJ and Armando. Armando with rebounds, got some scores. RJ hitting some of those key threes. I mean, yeah, those are our guys. It's March. Uh, you know, they've been here. They've experienced it. Those are guys we're going to go to late in the game, you know, unless somebody else is hot. So, you know, Roger Armando. You guys held Henson in check in the first matchup. You held, you held him without a three in this matchup. What was, what was the key to that? Harrison Ingram and Jalen Warder, I mean, they did an amazing job. Uh, Henson, I mean, I think he has the most three point field goals in the conference. And for him to only make two field goals, I mean, he's an incredible player. He hits some crazy shots sometimes. I mean, that was an amazing job by Harrison. I mean, Seth, he and Troy's team to be advancing to the ACC tournament. Uh, you know, it means a lot. It means a lot. It shows the work that we put in, but nobody on this team is satisfied. Uh, you know, none of us are excited. We are jumping around, thankful. I mean, we got one more game to win. So like I said, you know, we all say we're desperate. You know, we really want this. And we know we got to get it tomorrow. How important was it to match their physicality? I mean, it was a physical game out there. Yeah, it was super important. I mean, I think in recent history, Pitt has <clears throat> kind of controlled the physicality and, you know, whatever you can say, whatever the narrative is over this the last was it seven games? Uh, they were five and seven on us. Uh, so these last two games we played them, we just made sure we had a match with physicality and just be the even more physical team because that's just the team they are. Seth, so see RJ step up yeah. and see RJ step up and take those last two threes, kind of the dagger. It's going through your head. It's going in. I mean, <laughs> it's going in. That's what we want to take that shot. We don't want. To, I mean, we we're perfectly fine with anybody else on that team taking that shot, but. We want the bars and sands at that moment. We stepped up big time for us. Did it surprise you? Yeah, I think they kind of brought it to us. They had more energy, and then we kind of, at the eight minute mark, we turned it around. We were running out of the pressure. Four nights out there, she said, I'm going to get you guys interested. Really, this, this pressure in the ball more, you know, picking up a half court, just picking up a, a group online, and the guards were getting whatever they wanted. They're, they're too comfortable getting a cross cross, getting the rhythm, getting to the layup. You know, we had to take five one on one and guard your man. Cormac said that you put uh, Blake Minson in hell. How would you describe it? <laughs> no, you know, I took that, took that matchup personally. You know, he was, I put him in first team, I put him in third team, and uh, I, I think I'm better than him personally. And, you know, I took that matchup personally. Do you think that's an NCAA tournament team? I do think that's an NCAA tournament team, if you ask Why? me. I mean, they're, they're a good team. They got good guards. They got big. They got Blake Henson, who's tough. They got um, six man, who's pretty good. And, you know, it's, it's a good team. And the ACC is a tough offer. Have you ever cut down nets in your life? Ever in my life? And like, on my mini hoop, and I was like, seven. But not, not in real life. What would it mean to do that tomorrow night? No, it would mean the it would mean the world to do that. I mean, we didn't cut the nest down for a really season championship. I won a championship in high school in West State, and we didn't cut the nest there because it was COVID. But I didn't. I, in the AU, I won, and I didn't cut the nest there. So you know, for me to just feel, have that feeling of you know, coming that, taking the net, taking some pictures with the net on, you know, it means the world. There's both you and Seth now have said that these matchups are personal. You against Henson, and he against Lincoln. Why did you guys think it's so personal? And, and, uh, a way to motivate yourself. You know, it's an easy, it's easy way to motivate yourself when you take everything personal. But I mean, people had him first team, and I had him third team, and I kind of took that personal and said that him was third and sixth man. They had that guy first six minutes, so we took that personal, and you now we feel like a lot of people sleep on UNC because there's so many good players, and you might not put up the big numbers that other guys put, but we're on a better team, better players, and play better basketball. How important was it to match their physicality? I mean, they're one of the more physical teams in the in the, in the league. Right. I mean, from the beginning, I thought we did match the physicality, and they got out to like a 17 to 8 lead. I think it was 17 to 8, and 
know, eight minute mark, coach pulled us in. You know, he was, he was chewing us out, and, and at the end of the day, you know, we had to get up and guard our man one on one. I mean, we were guarding them actually pretty well, and they were taking us one on one. Um, Carrington was taking us one on one, and Lowe taking us one on one. I feel like you know, towards the middle of the first half and the second half, we took our matches more personal. So, so coach challenged you to be more physical. What, what were his words? I'm not sure exactly his words, but it was definitely challenging. Harrison, what can you say about the job Jay Witt did off the bench defending Henson? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Jay Witt gives us so much. Six nine, athletic, he can shoot, he can dribble, he can pass the ball a little bit. He's athletic as you know, anybody in the country. He gives us something that we don't really have on the court. And you know, having him, he's getting rebounds, he's blocking shots, he's knocking down threes, he's making good plays, he's tipping the ball around and just a hustle play. Seems like he really savors this kind of physical game. Yeah, yeah. Think back to Kentucky. I mean, that's really all of us. I mean, we're not, we don't want the pretty boy game where it's a swing, swing three. We want it, when it gets ugly, when it gets regular, when it gets physical, we love that type of game. There's what's it happens. mean to be advancing to the ACC championship game from where you guys started to now? I mean, it means, it means a lot. You know, we were regular season champs, and now we want to be tournament champs and hopefully uh, March Madness champs. But, you know, to us, it's just another step in the right direction. Tomorrow we're going to watch NC State versus Virginia do our scout and treat like any other game. Was there anything tactically you were doing? You guys were doing against Henson to hold it down? I mean, not really. I mean, it's more just being physical and kind of taking the matchup personal one on one. And you know, we did a lot of scouting. Uh, we usually do a good amount of scouting and we're really pretty prepared for any guy. And today, just Carrington was the guy who got hot. I, guess I need to count it up. No, uh, Phelps. To, to, to struggle last year. Uh, last year left a bad taste in you know, all four of our, our mouths. Pause, uh, but um, you know we just wanted to you know use that as motivation to, to come back this year and you know, just step it up in you know, every level. Whether it's offensive, and defense, you know, just give a lot more. Time. You talk about that three stretch. They cut it to three, and you scored four points and you had a huge rebound. Can you talk about that stretch? Uh, just, you know, staying ready. Um, Seth passing the ball. Um, who else? Somebody else passing the ball in transition, just trying to go up strong and, and finish. That's one thing that coach always emphasizes with me. Um, then just all the rebounds, just, you know, really just trying to go after the ball strong and, you know, get out to the guard. Um, so really just trying to be ready just, and uh, just be strong. How much of it is awareness for the ball? You've been getting more baskets rolling to the basket here lately. Was that because you improved chemistry with the other guys, reading the other guys? Why has that been there for you more lately? Um, just watching films, just getting a lot more feel with it. Um, I feel like before I settled a little bit, you know, just with uh, getting clean catches. Uh, but I know, you know, now I have it in my head just to be just ready to expect the ball to come in, no matter the way it comes in, like whether it's hot or it is, good pass. Can you talk to me a little bit about the impact that RJ had on the game, especially kind of with those three free throws at the end? He's our go-to guy. He's also our closer. So we just trust him. Um, you know, in the end, to really make those free throws and seal the game. And we also trust him at the beginning of the game when we're running action for him in the middle of the game. But we you know, we're going to get, do our best to, to get him open. We trust him to knock down those shots and make plays. Thank you. It comes back to tie it RJ immediately takes a three, dots it. You guys have the lead right back. I mean, what, what does that say about him as tough as a player? I mean, it just shows that he's really tough. He's really confident. And it just shows that he's like the best player in the country. You think you, your team showed some toughness uh, in this game down the stretch? Yeah, that, definitely. That's what we pride ourselves on, being tough. So we try to have a, like a tough mentality coming into the game. I, I think one of the first timeouts in the first half after they had a big lead, it sounds like a coach kind of lit into you. Can you talk about that? Yeah, he was just um, telling us that there's nothing like he could do, like nothing that he could coach because at the end of the day, it's just they were beating us in our individual matchups and they were just scoring on us without any really action. So he was just telling us that we had to uh, – you just have to be prideful and just, and just defend, defend harder and stop being scored on. Was he kind of suggesting it was effort? Um, I don't think it was effort. Um, I think it was just uh, we weren't locked in and we weren't taking pride in defending. What do you remember about uh, Armando's fast break dunk? He got the steal off the inbound and dunked it with two hands. Um, I just... I didn't even see the steal. I just remember on the bench, I looked up and I see the dunk, so it was really fun. Just looked up and he was already at the rim. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with RJ and Armando kind of you know, taking charge later in the game, and even just the scoring up as they had throughout the game, uh, just how kind of, can you just explain how key and crucial that was, I guess, for you all, you know, getting to us the last week? Um, it's just good to have teammates we know we could just depend on the clutch. And we're, we're always going to go to RJ and Armando because they're our vets. And, uh, 
Uh, our motto is the best player in the country. Our team is the best player in the country. So we have confidence in just giving them the ball. Elliot, are you going to do anything specific in terms of your your process, your routine tomorrow before the game at all? Um, I'm not going to really do anything specific. I think just preparing how I do for the rest of these games, focusing on my recovery. That one long bounce pass on the transition to Long Mondo. Uh, how do you see that play coming? Um, I just push the pace a lot, and I, at, in practice we push the pace a lot, so it just comes naturally. And me, RJ, everybody are developing a lot of chemistry in transition, so he, he, he knew I was going to pass him the ball. He was ready for it. Is it like you're pitching ahead a lot more here lately? Does that, is that put your sense as well? Yeah, we're just trying to um, push the pace every game, and we feel like we're our best when I'm pitching ahead and when the ball's advancing really quickly.